Hi, welcome to the Renaissance Festival. It's a wonderful day today. We have sword fighters, we have jousters, we have eagles, we have hawks, falcons, comedians, storytellers. It's a wonderful day out here. Every weekend of November and the first weekend of December, from 9.45 a.m. to 5 p.m., come out and have a great time. We have merchants, we have shopping, lots and lots of holiday shopping. We have entertainment, educational things, many, many educational demonstrations from wood carving to candle making to weaving. We even have a live sheep and you can milk a goat if you like. We have all kinds of educational demonstrations. We have entertainment, lots of things to drink. We have tea tastings, wine tasting, whiskey tasting. You can, you can enjoy your time with the queen. Queen Elizabeth will be here in first person and you can speak with her and learn what it's like to be a real queen. We have uh, plenty of peasants and merchants and of course, a couple of village idiots. Feel free to join in. The Renaissance Festival started 15 years ago. This is our 15th year, the 15th annual Louisiana Renaissance Festival. And it all started because somebody drug us to a, a Renaissance Festival in Arizona. So we said, this is awesome. Louisiana needs one of these. So we brought one to Louisiana. Well, actually we just created one in Louisiana and then got people to come support it and show how much fun it is. And the entertainers here love Louisiana. They say when they have a show here, that people actually enjoy coming to the show. They laugh, they sing along. When they tell a joke, people tell jokes back. They love it. So even the entertainers from other places, from Florida to California, to even from Canada, the entertainment that we bring here is quite unique and they love Louisiana because of the people here. All you have to do is, is you wander around and you look at the entertainment, you look at the, the craftsmen and the, uh, the merchants, and you can see right away this is not something like your local uh, catfish festival or, or the jazz festival or something like that. This is something entirely different as far as that goes, as far as things you're going to see and uh, the, the experiences you can have here. We have uh, several comedy shows. Uh, you've got the swashbuckling fighting show going on behind us at the moment. You have the jousting, and you're not going to see that anywhere else at any other festival anyway. We, we all know that. Uh, Paolo the Juggler, we've got some great juggling shows. We've got uh, the, the washing well winches. We've got some wonderful comedy shows uh, that uh, often interact with the public too. So you never know, you might find yourself being brought up on stage and being part of the show yourself. It's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of very, very friendly people. Uh, everyone here is just hugs and smiles, uh, very welcoming, uh, very fun. I definitely would like to come back, even though I'm from Odessa. <laughs> it's definitely worth the drive, uh, worth the trip, uh, worth coming in and check out and staying all day. What kinds of things have you done and seen since you've been here? Um, helped and watched the wine tasting, the uh, whiskey tasting, um, watching the uh, shows, a couple of them, sword fighting was great, um, and then also checking out the shops, all the handcrafted stuff. So what would you tell people back home to get them to come and check this festival out? That it's definitely worth it because there's not much uh, in Odessa like this. There's nothing like it like this in Odessa. I have the booth called Damsel's Desires and you can find hair flowers and accessories we have feathers and we have flowers, we have handcrafted items, and we also have uh, scarves as well. <laughs> Come right on through the entrance and take a left and start walking around the circle. And I'll be here with the rainbow of flowers behind me. Ren Fair is an excellent place if you are looking for crafts or games or fun or drinks or uh, any historical reenactment. There's tons of fun things to do and tons of fun things to watch. <laughs> uh, I personally like to come here because there's apothecaries and there are reenactments and there are performers. All, of course, there's also performers, fire breathing and eating and juggling and all kinds of really excellent stuff. <laughs> A lot of booths that are here at the fair are solely at the fair. So for example, you couldn't find my products or my homemade products online or at any other shop. We're just at the fair here or at any of the fairs that we travel to. We are in the village of Albright. The celebration is, well, for us, so it is about us, but it is also about the, the fall festivals. It's a time for the villagers to come out and enjoy a day of rest, but they do not get very many. And what types of things can people enjoy at this celebration? 
jousting, of course, is a very popular thing. People love to see uh, men in armor come off in horse cookies. Uh, there is the lords and ladies being knighted. There are dancing fire jugglers. There are swings that they could dance upon. Well, okay, they swings that they could swing upon, not dance upon swings. Very bad thing to do. Face painting, candle making, shopping galore, and lots of food, ale, and drink. This is our seventh year visiting. Oh nay, our ninth year visiting this festival. Uh, our reign has been on 13 five years, but. We do not go to all of all of our country at the same time, so this is our ninth year of visiting. I've been coming every year, and it's, it's it's called anachronism. That's what I really like. It's whenever you take something from one time and you bring it somewhere else, and I love the just the immersion, and it's a very family friendly uh, place to come to. And every year that you come, it get, just gets bigger and bigger, and they put more things into it, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so, uh, what keeps you coming back every year? Uh, probably the entertainment and the people because I know a lot of places it's the really big into the merchant scene but this one's a lot of the shows it's the shows and it's the the workers here and even the merchants you know like they're all very immersive they want to get you they want to pull you in and from a volunteer perspective uh, what kind of things uh, excite you the most about being a part of it uh, you know just just feeling part of it, that I'm that I'm helping to you know, kind of bring the light to other people's eyes that they get to experience and they get to bring pulled in too because, you know, if I volunteer, then other people get involved and soon everybody will be wanting to, to jump on the boat. <laughs> what keeps you coming back every year? The people. I love to see the people. I like to talk to people. I like to, uh, a lot of the people come here, uh, they're not sure what they're getting into as far as they've never been to a Renaissance festival or something. So they're not sure what they're going to see. I love to talk to them about their experiences here and encourage them to come dressed up for this because it's much more fun to be a part of this when you're dressed up than, than to be in regular clothes. All right, what we do at our booth is we sell clothes. You can either rent them, you can either... Um, what we do with renting is, it's basically like a test trial of seeing that what kind of taste is that you have in clothing that you might like to incorporate other than wearing it at the Renaissance Festival, you may wear it outside the Renaissance Festival, and that's what we kind of want. We don't want you to just wear it one year, or like, it's like Halloween, you know? You only dress up one time. So what we do is you can rent them, you can wear them around. If you don't like it, you can switch stuff out. If you want to buy them, you can buy them too. So another thing that we do is we have a sister shop right over there. And uh, what we do is we uh, sell you the clothing and stuff like that. And the leather that I'm wearing right now, like the uh, gauntlets and the vest and the belt right out here, you can actually go over there and you can accessorize your clothing just like this. If I take all this off, it's just going to be plain clothing. So it's just like I, I'm a peasant. But if I put like certain things together, it kind of makes me like a knight or a vampire hunter or a gutter punk or something like that. We braid people's hair in um, in different French braids, mostly three, five, seven, nine strand braids. Um, and it's more like updos on top of your head as opposed to um, some more intricate type cornrows, which you can see at a lot of different shops outside of the Renaissance Festival. I think that um, I think that what we're mainly providing at the Renaissance Festival is we're providing this opportunity for people to um, people to slip into a different skin for a little while. Um, it's a chance to sort of, it's a lot like Mardi Gras, and so people at this fair in particular um, get that especially well, um, to be able to just sort of be something different or somebody different for a little while or explore a different aspect of yourself and so costuming hair braids sometimes we say that braids are like the gateway the, the gateway piece because you'll come here in your regular clothes and then you get a braid just to feel like you're a little bit a part of what's happening a little bit in costume and then next thing you know you've got clothes shoes bags belts swords like all kinds of stuff going on um, but yeah, I think it's, you know, and it's cool, you know, we're right here by the front gate. And so it's really interesting uh, for me to, to people watch and see everybody come in. And at first they're still, they're still outside the gate 
mentally and then they kind of slowly are sort of like looking around at what what is this that I've just stepped into where am I and and who am I in this kind of a place as opposed to who I am in in everyday life out there and then I see them when they're on their way out as well and um, it's interesting for me from this uh, sociological standpoint to see how they've changed a little bit from their time inside and outside the fair. So what is it that you enjoy that keeps you coming back every year to be a part of it? The people mostly, the people who work out here and the people who come out here to to participate, either patrons or people who come in and, and are just here to spectate. Everyone is generally in a really fabulous mood. Everyone likes to have a good time. Everyone likes to crack jokes. Everyone likes to um, enjoy each other's company. And I really enjoy that. <laughs> Everyone's just trying to have a good time. So tell us why people should come and check out the Louisiana Renaissance Festival. Um, I think that people should come and check it. Well, first of all, this is a beautiful day, so it's an opportunity to um, it's an opportunity to to spend time outside. And I think that like there's nothing else out there quite like it. It's part art market. It's part street theater. It's part um, it's part food festival. Um, there's just there's whatever whatever you're really kind of into like there's there's a place for you to go and you know there's something for you to explore out here if you're really into catching all the shows you can schedule yourself out and go catch all of the shows or again if you just want to people watch if you just want to like open yourself up to the opportunity to you know one of the things I like about working renaissance festivals is everybody is here pretty much because they want to be here people got up and they chose to come here and they chose to create and um, and explore and uh, so I think that like a lot of things you can you you get out of it what you put into it so you know come and explore well, the reason why you should come to this festival for one you have all kinds of security guards around here so for one you can't really do anything they get in trouble out here. It's a bunch of family fun, and I've never had a problem out here with anybody except them walking by me, not wanting to listen to me when me I'm hawking. So, this is about the only problem I have. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking it's like, oh, it's just a bunch of people dressing up, and oh, there's those those larpers, those live action role players, those a bunch of nerds. It's really not. This is part of our history, and if you don't remember it, then it won't stay alive. So we need to experience it to know how it was. <laughs> Oh, it is the best time you'll ever have. You must come out and visit and enjoy the warmth, the friendliness, the food, and the fun. You really should come out here. It's, it's, a, it's a very interesting experience. It's a very different experience from anything you've been to before. Uh, the shows, the craftsmen, if you like craftsmade uh, items, craftsmen-made items. Uh, we have excellent food and drink, lots of crafts beers, uh, different ales and things like that, if that's what you'd like to see. Uh, the shows, the people, the costumes, everything is so much different from any other festival we've ever been to before. You've got to see this. You've got to experience it yourself.